The clouds look amazing on the camera. It looks pretty amazing in person too. <laughs> no, it's different on the camera. You know, you're wondering what dude's doing? Yep, we have a bumper in the front of the Jeep and we have a bumper up in the back of the Jeep and now we have a bumper in the Jeep. Whatever Flo said about me picking up the bumper, that we already have bumpers, well, when yeah, there's a... We need an extra one. When, when there's a killer smoking deal on the used market, there is a, a bumper from a 2017 Jeep that someone was selling and the kicker was not that it was a bumper that I need. The kicker was that the lights that were attached to this bumper are worth like three to four times what I paid for the bumper. So, smoking deal. So that's my rationale. For all you Jeep nerds out there, you know what I'm talking about. But for Flo... Wow, this place is interesting. It's like a Chinese mall in Richmond, but for Indian folks. In Surrey. So we're checking out a restaurant since we're out here in Surrey. And then the Pakistani restaurant really caught our eye. We haven't had Pakistani since... Uh, we lived in SF. We lived in San Francisco. Oh, special today. Maybe I should have worn my coat. Thank you so much. It looks so amazing. This Can't must wait. Be the Chicken korma. Mm -hmm. The eggplant eggplant bra ba bata? Barta. Barta. And then the rice and naan. All right. Let's pray. Okay. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this food. We pray that you bless it to our bodies. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's dig in. Dig in. People want to see... Is it called mukbang? Hey, guys. Do you want to see us, like, eat a whole meal? in front of the camera. I think the genre is called mukbang. I don't I probably butchered the pronunciation. Why would people want to see that? It makes no sense. I don't like eating in front of the camera. Eat. <laughs> but this is chicken korma. It is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I know you all like walking duty. The korma is not what uh I guess what we're used to, the korma, is the peanutty or the nutty sauce that is more Punjabi, I guess. I'm no expert, but this has, uh, this is reminiscent of the Pakistani food that we are used to having and loving from uh, San Francisco. We ordered mild, thankfully. Flo said, oh, let's just order medium. It would have killed us. The korma's got that nice exotic flavors in there, a brighter flavor than some of the Indian food that we're, we're used to having lately, like the butter chicken. So I love it. The barta is nice and smooth, and my nose is running, so that's it for me. Even do that reverse bag thing with onions. Well, because they're wet, I don't want to touch it. Hey, it works everywhere, not just me. Lemongrass and watercress. All right, see, I'm already spending way too much time here. Yeah, I, I don't think they have. Uh, you have sauces. Twenty-seven <laughs> of sauces. Well, these are all pre-made sauces. So technically, if you were making, I don't know, like, here, this is chicken marinade. You would just marinate your chicken in it. Or you want drunken chicken marinade. This is the, what you would marinate in it. But all the sauces you can make with the basic ingredients at home. That's what I think anyways. So I need um, Shaoxing wine because all of a sudden I'm out and I don't even know why. Me. Stop it! I wonder if they make Shaoxing wine from elsewhere other than China. What did you find? So I made one made in Taiwan, but it's also twice as much. Okay, so 
All the stuff that we're buying, what is it for? Well, so far, what's in the cart is just regular groceries um, that I'm running out of. But we're going to hot pot tonight, so we are getting ingredients for hot pot. Chinese hot pot. Chinese hot pot. Yes. Not very Asian sauce. I remember as a kid breaking into my grandma's cupboard to like sneak some rock sugar. I did the same thing. <laughs> and then when I was in my 20s, my grandmother said to me, What? You didn't think I knew? <laughs> What's it like I 20 know. years later? So it did look appealing, but not so appealing once you get into the nutrition facts. I and know. The I know. A lot of sugar? No, not a lot of sugar. So that's good. But it's got fructose in it, which I'm not happy with. And it's on sale. And it's Korea. From Korea, not China. Oh, from Korea. <laughs> All the better. <laughs> Look what I found. <laughs> no. Yeah. My friend was raving about these chips that he only found in Asia, so he went wild when he saw them here at the Asian market. But you know, that doesn't work. There's cola beef. What's this for? So to make the chicken broth. Oh, It'll be cheaper than buying it. Organic broth? You can make your own? Make your own. But maybe it's not organic. Maybe that's why. So this is where we get into the the meat of what matters. In uh, hot pot. However, I'm not sure we need Wagyu beef for our hot pot. But that might be all that. Worth it? <laughs> well, you were talking about chuck eye. They do have a chuck eye package here, but it's not very much. Look at just like not even a hundred grams. Oh wow. No. 132.26 per kilo. No, not worth it. See? Not worth it. Well, this is all the premium meats. Well. They have all the other ones over here. <laughs> <laughs> the cheap meats. Well, here we go. See, $20 a pound. $44 a kilo. Uh, all right, all right. Is that a 220 whatever I said? I don't have enough uh, bags, so I will have to touch the bag packages. Okay, pork jowl. Pork jowl is super tender. It's the cheeks of the pigs. And um, it's delicious. It's delicious. What else do we need? Fish balls. I think these are the ones that we normally buy. They look like yeah. that. Are they pork balls? Yeah. Okay, well, these pork balls are going back. These are all things that you put in your hot pot? These are things that you can put in your hot pot, but I don't normally buy them. Half a pound of the fish tofu. I've got cuttlefish, fish balls, and fish tofu. Nice variety. I think so. Kids will like it. That's one of the things that we enjoy about hot pot is that you get a lot of variety and everyone gets their A little favorites. bit of everything. That's a lot of food. We gotta go. It's a small cart. <laughs> if you really need a carb, you can use... What do the kids like? The kids like the udon. And the other option is these um, knots. Let's see if I can find a package that looks better. They're yam noodles that are knotted so that when you put them in your hot pot everyone can just grab a little bundle they're kind of cute and yummy but I'm not going to get any Asians have the best names for their products <laughs> alright so it came to $113 um, well $2 it's parking so really $115 this isn't just the meal tonight it is groceries and all of that meat and stuff that we bought will last for a couple meals, not just one. It's quite a bit of food. Yeah. 
I mean, it's way more food than at Costco. Yeah, different purchases too, but yeah, more food. Yeah. Sure. All right, let's get home. Okay. All right, so I have my chicken broth. I'm going to start. There are three chicken carcasses in there that I just bought from the store, plus four, four or five little carrots, two stalks of celery, one onion, and I don't know, a piece of ginger around this big sliced up. I'm just going to cover it with water. Maybe add some salt and pepper. And then we're going to pressure cook it for at least half an hour. I might go 45 minutes. Is this something that you would like a recipe video on or is that sufficient? Let us know in the comments. Uh, where's my head? Right there. Okay, the chicken broth is ready and I'm just skimming some of the fat out. So what happens when you use fat chicken? A little fat is okay. It's not a lot. What skill? <laughs> I have a... This is a, a hot pot pot. It's got a divider in the middle so that you can have two different types of soup. Like so for example you might want a spicy soup on one side and a not spicy soup on the other side. Um, something I always request when we hot pot is if anyone's having lamb that they would keep their lamb meat on one side and not contaminate lamb on both sides. Yes I am so bold to ask people to please cook their lamb on one side only. You sh shouldn't be so prejudiced against the lamb. And then there are people that are allergic to seafood, say, and they say, oh, can you please keep shellfish only on one side? Yeah, so everyone can still eat from one pot. Well, the hatred of lamb is quite different from like, going to anaphylactic shock. <laughs> one requires an EpiPen, yeah. one is just a matter of taste. Such a pyro. So hot pot is something that the family really enjoys and it's a time that we can just cook together and eat together and uh, have some fun together. So let me just go through some of the ingredients that we purchased. And there's still so many things that you can buy for your hot pot that's not included here. Um, but just use what you like. If you don't like fish balls, don't buy fish balls. All right. And if you like lamb, buy yeah. lamb. <laughs> We've got some pork meatballs here. They're super tender. We love these ones in particular. They're like a Taiwanese um, meatball. Although, didn't you tell me that the packaging was Vietnamese? Yeah. So maybe they're Vietnamese, but when I used to buy them, they used to come in like the deli section of the um, meat department in the Chinese stores and they would sell them as Taiwanese mm -hmm. pork balls. This is fish tofu. So it's made with soy and fish. And these are fish balls. And this is cuttlefish that have been deep fried as well. We've got some Napa cabbage and some watercress. And we've got beef rib. What are they? Short rib. Thin short rib slices and pork chow. And both of them are like super tender. They're already cut for the, uh, for the hot pot. And when they cut it, it's slightly frozen, so that's why they can curl up. And then when you cook them, you just dip them in and they cook really fast. Oh, we also have some tofu. And the best part that the kids love is to make the sauce. So they put whatever they like in their bowl. And uh, I think that's their favorite part. One of the things I really enjoy about maybe 50% of the experience is putting together that perfect sauce because when you cook the food, it's not highly flavored. Right, because I'm just using chicken broth, but um, there are packets that you can buy with different seasonings, different um, types of soup. Like some people like the Tom Yum, the Thai Tom Yum soup flavor or just some sort of spicy Taiwanese soup base. Um, but I find there's a lot of preservatives in those packages. So I just like to use the chicken broth and we just make our own condiments on the side to go with it. And, but you know what, as you cook the food, it adds more flavor to the broth. So drinking it at the end is like really quite yummy. All right, let's get on that sauce. All right, let's go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sauce? Do you have a usual, a regular sauce that you put together? 
Yeah, I like to put everything in. All right, go for it. What's the difference between this one and this one? Oh, one's a dark soy sauce and the other one's a light soy sauce. So the dark one has is a little bit more sweet than the light soy. Okay, I'll use this one. And that is a Chinese barbecue sauce. Not very spicy, but it's got that uh, the heat in there. Some people crack the raw egg in there too. Yeah, sometimes people like to dip it in raw egg, dip their cooked meat. That's weird. Well, wouldn't the raw egg make them sick? No, it's supposed to make it more Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, buddy. Go for it. Okay. Some cilantro, nice. And you're done? Yep. Looks good. So one thing I like to do is use like those takeout chopsticks that you don't know what to do with to handle the raw meat. And we have these little baskets where we can scoop up the food. And sometimes we keep an extra bowl on the side just for the extra food that's being cooked and we're not eating it fast enough, then the cooked food can go into a bowl and then we can just all pass that around as well. So it's time to eat. And everything cooks really fast. All right, guys, what do you guys want? Um, everything. Please. All right. Everything. And you need your bowl? All right. Here you go, Noah. That's good, Thank Noah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Ba-da-da-da-bye Ba-da-da-da-bye